And now, weighing in out of the blue corner, Josh the Pong Thompson. 100% agree. And on the other mic, he weighs in from the red corner, Big John McCarthy. Hey, I got a, we got a lot of people talking about Roundtree making a good uh, presence on this fight this week, and everyone's saying that he would potentially knock out Alex Pereira. Yeah. He's not. He's I like, think I've never he, shot I think he's one of the toughest people to, to face, Alex. I think he's a, he's a problem. He's the he's the best striker he's fought in MMA, and everyone's like, "Oh, he fought Izzy." I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying he's a better striker than Izzy. He's more dangerous because Izzy's not a knockout artist by trade. He he has a no. lot of smoke and mirrors. He sets you up if you run. He's a volume him, fighter. Out, but he's a smart, strategic, very high IQ fighter. Roundtree is a knockout artist, and he also has a speed advantage on Alex. Do you and remember he, when they brought in Gohan Saki and who they put against? Yeah, Gohan Saki was. I mean, one of the top kickboxers in the world. I mean, Khalil Roundtree, both ninety years old, but I'm with you. That's an impressive. Still, man. yeah, <laughs> he's older, but, but he was but, older. It is but your, still, you, no, yeah. To your point, he's still a legend. But yeah. I, I do think Khalil Roundtree. People aren't giving enough credit. Also, when they're like, "Oh, it should be and Clive, and Clive had his chance to, and Clive, he it was a draw, and that yeah. he, he had his chance. We've seen how that goes. It wasn't great." And also, Roundtree's won five in a row at light heavyweight. That's tough to do. Mm -hmm. He's earned this. They also have a common opponent in Johnny Walker. Watch the ankle of Johnny Walker fight. Fucking sucked. Mm -hmm. Watch Roundtree, Johnny Walker. That's a fun fight. He's earned it. So when people are like, oh, he doesn't deserve it, that's more of representation on the light heavyweight division. That that that's that's the division's kind of slim. They fought each other. That's what yeah. it is, man. As far as dangerous strikers, this is Alex's toughest test. Now is can round is Roundtree gonna win? I, I won't go on the limb and say that. You know, Alex is a monster. But I wouldn't be surprised. Two okay. guys, we can guarantee there's no grappling at all involved here. <laughs> Roundtree's never shot yeah. his career. Alex is batting a hundred percent. He's one for one. He took Izzy down one time. So he's a hundred percent takedown, which is pretty <laughs> legit. But nobody this is gonna be a straight striking match, dude. And Roundtree is a he, he he's a quicker fighter and he's a southpaw. Mm. And he fucking he's a big dude and he doesn't he doesn't do a lot of footwork, so somebody's getting knocked out. Take my money, dude. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to land that left hook, though. If for for Alex, I think the one thing is because he is uh, Khalil is a southpaw. It's gonna be harder for him to land that left hook. Yeah, you know, that's his bread. Khalil and has a great right hook. Khalil yeah. has a great right hook, man. It's trouble. It could be trouble. I just look at Alex. He's just so damn big for the weight, even at two hundred five. He was huge at one eighty five. He's huge at two hundred five. I mean, the, the talk of him potentially going to heavyweight, maybe down the line. But I mean, he's he's a big guy with big power, and his leg kicks, there's nothing on him. But they seem to do damage to everyone that he touches with them. Yep, yep. And the way he checks the leg kicks creates issues for guys. He's just a really high level, calculated guy. He's probably the biggest star in the UFC. You know, everyone wants to see this guy fight. He's not great on the mic, yet he's this massive star. I, I love it, this. He doesn't have to be. He's got that look. Yeah. Everyone goes. Whoa. He has the look because he's knocking cats out. And like everybody yeah. else wants to get on TikTok, do these skits all the goddamn time to hype the fight. Alex doesn't even talk. Yeah, and nope. he's just like, yep, and we're buying the fight. Like, that's what I like. That's what I'm, I'm all about that. I think Alex, you know, it's going to get a little weird. If, if he takes out Roundtree, um, or Roundtree, you have, you know, you're, you're always going to have Ann Clive there. And then after that, it, it gets a little weird. I think we're going to see a lot more super fights in the future. You know, because there's not a ton of options for him mm -hmm. uh, between John and Stipe. You know, I think they both retire. Then, then what's freaking Aspinall do? So I think the UFC is gonna be forced to create these weird super fights. That's ideally is not great for guys like Alex. Like Alex versus um, our boy um, um, Tom Aspinall. It's not a great fight for Alex. No, it's not. Yeah. Is a fucking mo he's huge dude yeah and all these none of these guys are going to risk it on the feet with him so no. you're going to kill off a star so i yeah. i think it's gonna get weird for the ufc as far as depth he, goes at those he's not, he's not just a big heavyweight but he's an athletic heavyweight he moves yeah. like a like a 185 pounder i would say you know if I would, it's almost like you put his body into like a into a gsp like that's he moves so well on his feet his lateral movement his striking he's got to work on his striking and clean it up a little bit he leaves himself yeah. extended aspen all does but, but man, he's got power. He can, but he's got power, and he can grapple, and he's got speed. His movement. He's an all around. He's one of those new hybrid heavyweights, I guess you'd say. But he's not a small hybrid heavyweight. He's a decent size. But yeah, think, what do you do? Like, like think about it. John and Stipe. That fight. We just got to get out the freaking way, right? Like God. 
dog. Just I'm glad you said that because that's dog. the way I look at it. Just get the fuck out the way, guys. Yeah, so they do that yeah. fight. Let's say they both retire. John says that he's going to retire. I assume if Stipe loses, which odds are he loses, he retires. Then Asmol's sitting there like, I guess I'm champ now, and I fight Cyril Gone. Yeah. And then what? We have nothing for him, dude. That's why you're going to get super fights. 